Hey, welcome to the Draft Academy. My name is Mike. In this tutorial, I want to talk to you guys about local storage in JavaScript. A local storage is basically a mini database where we can store information from our JavaScript files. And then when the user refreshes the page or exits out of their web browser and they come back to our website, we'll actually be able to store information so we can give them the same information as last time. So for example, I could have somebody enter their name into this text box. I could have them click save. Then they could shut down their browser, come back to our website, and that name value would still be there. So local storage can be pretty useful to use in your websites. And like I said, it basically just acts as a mini database. So here we're gonna create a little app where the user enters their name, they click save, and then the, the name gets saved in local storage. So over here on my HTML, you see I just have an input here with the ID of text box and a button with the ID of BTN. So I'm gonna go ahead and wire these things up so that when I click this button, the text inside of the text box gets saved. So I'm gonna create a variable, we'll just call it text box, and I'm just gonna grab the element off the page. So I'll say document.getElementById, and we're just gonna grab that text box. And I also wanna do the same thing for the button. So we'll make a variable called button, and it'll just be document.getElementById, and the ID was BTN. So now we have this text box variable and this button variable. What I wanna do is I want to add an event listener onto the button. So I basically wanna be able to monitor when the button gets clicked. So I can say button.addEventListener. And inside of this event listener, we're gonna give it two values. So the first thing we're gonna give it is an event. So I can just say like on, or actually I can just say click and over here we want to give this a function so i'm going to create a function and now inside of this function we can execute any code when the button gets clicked so let's just make sure it works i'll just put an alert in here so now when i click the button we get this alert so everything's wired up and working so what i want to do is i want to grab the text from inside of the text box and i want to store it inside of the local storage on our website and the way that we can store something in local storage is we can just say local storage. And now we can basically just say whatever attribute we want. So I could say local storage dot name, and I could set this equal to the text that's inside of that text box. So I can just say text box dot value. And here's the thing, you can really put anything here. This doesn't have to be name. This is just what I want to give to local storage. So I want to store the text box value in a variable called name inside of local storage. But you could put anything here. It doesn't have to be name. So now what should happen is when I click the button, it should save the text box value in local storage. So I also just want to make sure that this is happening. So actually, I'm just going to write this out and we'll be able to see what the value is. So we can write out local storage dot name. And that's also how you access it. So over here in our web browser, I'll refresh the page and you can see a value shows up down here. So I had previously stored a value inside of my local storage with the name dog, but I could update that. So if I come over here to this text box, I can type something in, like I could type my name in, I'll click save and now my name is saved to local storage. So if I refresh the page, you'll see that instead of saying dog, it says Mike. So whatever I put in here, like I could put draft in here, I'll save it. Now when I update the page, you'll notice that that value gets saved. So I could also close the browser and that value would persist across the browser. So that's the basics of using local storage. You know, essentially you can store anything you want inside of local storage and it should be able to persist across browser sessions. So that's the basics of using local storage in JavaScript. Hey, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a like and subscribe to Draft Academy to be the first to know when we release new content. Also, we're always looking to improve. So if you have any constructive criticism or questions or anything, leave a comment below. Finally, if you're enjoying Draft Academy and you want to help us grow, head over to draftacademy.com forward slash contribute and invest in our future.